I want to end with a concrete example of this. It's one of my favorite stories. It's by Christine and it was on this show. Uh, it's in North America. I'm not sure if you see it there, but it's all about this chef who's ruthless, but he's trying to find incredible chefs from around the world uh, to cook in his kitchens. And I'm going to show you a clip of this girl, Christine's journey on his show. Enjoy. Chef Gordon Ramsay is getting served karma. Are you really blind? Yes, chef, I am. Gee, you cause a stir out there, literally. Yeah, I didn't mean it, actually. Some hot water for celebrity chef facing some payback. Everyone thought, how is this girl going to cook blind? <sighs> You're going to be judged like everybody else in this competition. Yes, chef. Reggie, come here. Come here. Stop that what we're serving. Get a grip and wake up. What kind of a gives a live crab to the blind chick? Let's give it to her. No more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> I'm freaking out for her. It pierced me. She's like very easily flustered. What the hell is going on? Honestly, Chef, there's just no excuse. I was just was flustered. A dream, she says, that turned into a real kitchen nightmare. No one ever really thought that it could be this big. We did not grant her any advantages. Are you stupid? I hate his face. I want to prove you did try to screw me. I'm sorry, can you tell me where I had put the green onion? The green onion. It's still in the bowl? And maybe he really wants her out. Get out! I really loved cooking, but I thought it was going to be something I would have to give up. I really have mad respect for that lady. I don't like her. She's weak. I think Christine will win this. As you know, there can only be one winner. And that winner... Christine! When I cook, I feel like my mom's spirit is somewhere nearby. If my mom were still here today, I would ask her to teach me how to make her Vietnamese beef noodle soup. Although each time I make it, it gets better and better, it has yet to still capture the memory of my mom. I think all of these things are a tribute to her and an homage to how my mom viewed food. Whether it's trying to get through challenges to win a cooking competition, to just trying to replicate my mom's beef noodle soup, you just have to try over and over until you succeed. Losing my vision taught me to be more fearless in life. If you can't see how steep the mountain is, then you can't fear it. Everyone is very capable, much more capable than they think they are regardless of where you've come from, what challenges you faced, uh, what sort of a hand you're dealt with in life. You shouldn't be afraid to dream big. Your chances of attaining something if you don't try is 0%, so you might as well try. What I love about her story is that it exemplifies her passion and her purpose for why she does what she does. You know, in this relentless pursuit to always try to problem solve amongst her adversity, that she has and always constantly developing her skill and learning and learning and she's never done learning. Uh, she's a great example for all of us. And you know, I hope today she's been an example in this experience of Crossing Arms has shown you that you have the capability just like those five-year-old kids uh, to do whatever it is that you put your mind and your heart to. And it doesn't matter where you've been or where you are or where you will be. What matters is what you do with your mind and with your heart and everyone has the same opportunity to achieve the outcomes that they desire if we do the things that we need to do, develop the skills that we need to develop to achieve the things that we want to have for ourselves, for our communities, for our families and beyond. It's been a pleasure uh, being with you here today and I love experiences like the one today. Please do take advantage of it and of course continue to come back as it's these experiences that connect you with others, connect you with insight, and most importantly, help you learn and grow and develop the skills you need to become the best version of yourself. My name is Giancarlo. It's been a pleasure being with you here today. Take care.